So, I'm gonna have to ask you something. When you have a company that makes bootlegs, and inserts their own little mascot into them, and then becomes a giant fan of their mascot, so much so that they want to make a game starring him that is completely original, what do you call that? Can you be a fan of your own product? Obviously. I guess. What's Tunnel Rhino doing here? Well, that's not Tunnel Rhino. It's our original character, Tunnel Bino. That is chill, man. Frostman? I don't know, that Mega Man and Base shit, Lord. And that's Turbo Man. No, it's not. He's apparently some sort of ninja. I mean, the sprite edits. That's Burner Man. Very obviously. <laughs> that's not Burner. <laughs> no burners on him, what are you talking about? <laughs> I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> Is that Blast Hornet on the body of that weird Zero One mini boss <laughs> thing from the first? No, that's that's. Uh, it could be if you squinted, Boomer Koanger, because this is Battle Network Rockman Crystal. Um, I thought this was original. It is. Just look at these graphics. That are totally so they not were even too enough. lazy to make their own intro graphics. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the beginning of the game. We have a charge shot, we can shoot little bullets. But it does remind me of something. What? Can't put my finger on it though. Oh right! Dragon Ball C, it's the hair. Yeah, that does get you sometimes. Imagine Akira Toriyama working on a Mega Man game. <laughs> <laughs> all the bosses have the exact same face. And they're all really easy this to draw. This <laughs> looks like it plays amazing. I mean, it's functional. I would not suggest trying to climb walls with this engine. Yeah, that's what I meant. This guy also reminds you of something. Some obscure Nintendo 64 game? Uh, I'm getting a more of a Genesis vibe. Maybe Pulse Man? What's, what's that, what you're picking up? Well, uh, we have two separate items. Uh, the blue things are weapon energy pickups, and the little heart things are health pickups. Except the thing is, in this game, you can also get uh, E-Tanks, basically, and enemies will just randomly drop them. Do you nice. have, like, nine E-Tanks now? So if you feel like it, you just need to kill enemies for a little bit, and you are functionally unstoppable. Well, that's nice, isn't it? Um, a game that the whole family can enjoy, and with that I mean literal children. Without thumbs. <laughs> <laughs> what is that music? Like, it has like, three beeps, and... Is it like, one channel? Well, here's a thing to note about uh, Vast Fame, the people who did this. They uh, did a bootleg of Mega Man V, and they really liked working with its sound engine. So much so, that for every game they ever produced, they used the Mega Man V sound engine. Oh. <laughs> but, um. Uh, this, this game sounds like Game Gear quality, like, like verse than Nintendo Entertainment System. I, I'm having a hard time uh, deciphering this design. I believe it's some sort of evil toy car. It looks like something out of Middens, if anybody even knows what that game is. Well, I don't. Anyway, Sai, could you please stop <laughs> sucking against the intro boss so much? It's embarrassing. Well, I'd love to, but I don't even have a real charge shot. I just have a one-stage charge shot. I can't even get up to rank two. Yeah, notice that it does not pierce, which is pretty bad. So it just kind of impacts on whatever you're shooting. And then doesn't really do all that much. But that means the hit detection works, that's great. God, I am just appreciating this incredible city background. Of where nothing is happening and it's just kind of there. And it's slowly being... Uh... Not dragged off screen, but I can see the black outline down there. <laughs> I enjoy that they clearly do not understand what makes the highway stage uh, intro work. That is that it's an actual highway that, you know, is linear. 
for once that is completely justified. This one here is like, yeah, the, the highway collapsed, so it folded onto itself 20 times. Makes sense, right? Yeah, I'm also appreciating all these new enemies that they're showcasing. They're not like building up with one type. Just everything is here. These are all the enemies in the game, right? You will never see more variety. Like, I'm appreciating they're activating new gimmicks, too, like... Just as soon as they think you've gotten to grips with, like, basic controls, now there's exploding platforms, moving platforms. Will there be a story Ooh. in this? Yes! For certain definitions of story. Oh god. Also, spikes don't actually hurt you in this game. <laughs> well, that is pretty good. Mainline Mega Man games should copy that. I'm playing X8 on the Legacy Collection right now. Let me tell you about spikes. <laughs> Are they spikes attached to squares? <sighs> that was actually one of my last levels. I Actually, the last level I beat. Oh. Hey, hey, hey! Hey, Zook! It's and I, Medusa! Medor, sorry! Medoir. It's French. Uh... So this guy seems pretty tough. He's fast, shoots bullets everywhere, and can throw a sword. Except there's an issue with this. But how many E-Tanks does he have? I see Wall you jumping. have developed the cheese <laughs> strategy for which I will forever resent you. How dare you? <laughs> Break this masterful boss design. It's disrespectful. Medora has no ability to hit things above his head, so you can just kind of hang out here and do whatever you want. It's Zerp all over again. <laughs> and still you get hit. Terrible, man. Well, the issue here is that uh, the bosses take about three hits and you to take damage, and then you can take uh, one hit and take damage. So if you have more health than so, the boss, it's actually kind of behooves you to just stand in place and shoot them. <laughs> like that! Pretty good. <laughs> Not, well, nice uh, centering of the explosion. <laughs> but he was on the title screen, how can he be dead already? I don't know, but I mean, we have all these eight uh, enemies to fight. And nicely, they do give us a save feature so you don't have to futz around with a password. Instantly better than all the mainline Mega Man games. 10 out of 10.